Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. What do you do with an old dumb TV? I don't know about you, but I don't watch free-to-air TV basically ever. Rather than buy a clunky old set-top box that you can't customise or change, how would you like a tiny little computer like this plugged into the HDMI port of your TV so that you can watch Netflix, Disney+, Stan and whatever other streaming services? You could even watch this video on YouTube on this. Or maybe you've got access to a set-top box, but no access to some of the newer streaming services, and who knows what's going to come down the road. A simple computer like this, plugged into your TV, might be just the perfect solution. As I said, it's a complete Windows PC. You plug it into the HDMI port of your TV, plug in its power supply, plug in a wireless keyboard and mouse, connect it to Wi-Fi, and you're off and running. Now, it's not massively specced. A 1.4 GHz Atom processor, 2 gigs of RAM in this particular version, and a 32 gig solid state drive. Although it does have the option to put in a micro SD card for more storage, and you've got USB 3, so you can always plug in an external hard drive. It really does give you total flexibility to do anything you would do on a desktop PC. If you really want to read your email on the TV, go for it. You can surf Facebook. But there are other things that might be slightly more fun. You could play games. Not high-end games, because it just simply doesn't have the processing power. But some of those fun, often family games, would work beautifully. Imagine playing Solitaire or Minesweeper at 1080p on the big screen. Okay, maybe that wouldn't be that much fun. But you could. But all the streaming services are now at your fingertips. You can get a decent keyboard and mouse, so you can search YouTube no problem for your favourite cat video or tech doctor video. You could even plug in a webcam and use it as a giant Skype or other video conferencing TV. In every way, it is a Windows PC. It's just giant on your TV and tiny in your hand. And yes, you'll have to do all the usual things like making sure the Windows updates are installed. But honestly, in Windows 10, that's pretty seamless these days. Would you want to run Office on something like this? No. Could you? Yes. Here it is plugged into the 42 inch TV that I keep in my office, like I did with the old Tandy Coco you can see up here. It's worth noting that this is a much older unit, which I got quite cheaply. They're under 200 Australian dollars. I got it a fair while ago. Newer versions are available with much higher specifications and performance. And there's a few other things that you can plug into the HDMI of your TV to use, and I'll have some reviews of them coming up soon. And there's probably a heap more uses I haven't even thought of. In fact, if you've got a good idea for it, post it in the comments below and share it with everyone. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking here, or there's some other videos you might not have seen before, here and here. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.